sir! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squalia. We out here in this dope little Toyota, man. Um, if you guys seen the title of the video, uh, you probably already know what's coming. Some crazy drifts into traffic. Uh, but other than that, aside from that, I should say, it would probably be a better choice of words, man. We have another request coming from you guys, the YouTube fam. Uh, and th it's unanimous, man. This time around, everybody wants to see this original comment. 44 likes, man. Um, Jared Forsyth, Moneymaker2234, Diego Acosta, Inzane, Voiced Tooth 46, Baseball Bro 25, Sebastian Spring, Zachinator343, Pontus Grieve, Jesus is my dad, 11. And KBS Smoke all want to see that 1992 Toyota Supra MK3 with a 2J swap, man. Um, so when this people rally around and, uh, you know, request a specific build, that's how things get done. Um, so what we're going to do here is jump into the auto show uh, by car section here. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I don't even remember seeing one of these cars in the game so i'm gonna go ahead and see if we can find it here now we got the 98 obviously 94 uh there is our 92 supra with the two liter gt twin turbo um it looks like i already own this one so let's jump into the garage i i'm pretty sure this thing's stock uh so we're gonna jump into the garage here and see if we can find said Toyota Supra. Come on, man. It's too many cars. This is why I got to do these auctions, man. I got so many cars. Um, as you can see here, we got the 2-liter uh, GT2. It looks like it's stock, 579. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into the car. And now that we're in this car, I think the only thing left to do, well, the right thing to do is jump up in here, custom upgrades, now, I'm noticing we have a body kit preset here, and I'm hoping this is a wide body. And it is, in fact. That's a really weird-looking wide body, man. That whole front end changes. Almost looks like a, like a Sylvia with that front end, man. That's something else. Um, okay, so what I think we're going to do is probably do the upgrades ourselves here. Uh, jump into the conversion options uh, first and foremost here. Uh, so we're going to start out uh, with that engine swap, that 3 liter twin turbo. Now it looks like a 3.2 liter. I want to say out of a BMW. We're definitely going with that 2J, man. The people have spoken. Um, as far as the drivetrain, we're going to keep this rear wheel drive. The Aspiration, I think since it says twin turbo on the front of this car, that we should leave it twin turbo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the body kit here from Toyota. This is an OEM Toyota wide body kit, man. Now, I'm not too sure. It looks like they even lift this thing too, man. What is up with that? The body kit and unlifted. Must be some kind of a rally thing. That's my only guess here. Um, as far as the rear wing goes, we're going to see if we have an option here that I like. Now, I do like the stock wing, uh, but there looks like a few different options here. So, we're going to see if we can find something that's halfway legit. Ooh, wingless? Dare I say wide body plus wingless? Just keep it simple, man. I kind of like it without the wing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Even though I know there's probably going to be a couple of purists out there that are probably going to want to, you know, find me and nail me to the cross for this. But ladies and gentlemen, that booty with no wing, this thing's going to look fire. Trust me. Um, one thing we are going to have to do is widen up those tires, both front and back. Now, with this being still a rear wheel drive platform, uh, we're going to need all the help we can get, especially with power. Uh, once we start modding that 2J, I have a feeling that traction is going to be hard to come by. Uh, so I'm going to skim through a couple of wheel options here until I find something that I like. I'll let you guys know. Now, because this car has a wide body on it, I think what I'm probably going to end up going with is these Koenig afterburners. Now, I'll admit... With the chrome, the little neo chrome lip and stuff like that, they look a little bit ricey right now. Uh, but I think once we get this thing through the paint booth, we can definitely help that out or fix that a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully the neo chrome lip is paintable because if not, that would kind of suck. 
Uh, so 17s all around. The one thing that I really like about these is they poke out nicely. They got a nice fat lip on them. I think once we're able to lower this car, it's going to really bring it together here. Uh, now, as far as the clutch goes, obviously getting upgraded. Transmission, I think we're going to leave the stock transmission. I want to see what it has uh, what it has to offer. Actually, what I am going to do is just upgrade it to a street transmission. Hopefully, that will give us uh, you know, a little bit of... We'll be able to manipulate the gears a little bit easier. And uh, was that was that it? Did I do everything in there? Upgrade shop, transmission, driveline, differential. Yes. Okay. So um, next up, brakes. This thing's definitely going to need brakes. I don't think those 92 stock super brakes are really going to be doing much for us out there. Um, race springs and dampers. As you can see, really doesn't lower this thing a lot. Uh, I'm hoping we can get it quite a bit lower than this because that looks like that looks like it's not even lowered, to be honest. It's really weird. Uh, weight reduction. I think we're going to leave a little bit of weight in this thing. Simply because I think uh, when you take too much weight out, it really it hinders the traction. And sometimes a little bit of weight is good to get those rear wheels planted on the ground. Um, now, this is a 2J, so it deserves some 2J uh you know modifications here now I'm, i did hear uh, intake fuel system ignition and exhaust now as far as the camshaft goes we're going to leave that stock displacement stock and we're going to upgrade those twin turbos and upgrade that intercooler and that's pretty much going to be it aside from the flywheel now i'm pretty confident this thing is going to be a screamer uh, 858 horsepower or sorry performance points up there as you can see s1 class uh, we're gonna go ahead and install this setup here looks like 536 kilowatts just under 600 horsepower if my calculations are correct and now that we got all of our upgrades out of the way let's go ahead and do some tuning here um, now as far as the gearing actually as you can see our gearing is still locked up here um, looks like we're doing not too bad as far as our top speed go you know as far as the top speed goes so i'm interested to see if that's going to be uh enough to keep up with this 2jz since we did swap the engine in here now ride height man they're killing us with this ride height doesn't look like we have the option to go much much lower uh dampening aero brake differential go ahead and upgrade that now we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a test here as you can see, the car is not really lowered that much. So what I'm going to do, and I've seen this pop up on the channel a couple of times. You guys have said this, and I'm going to just, I'm going to try the theory out simply because we need more lows on this thing. So what I'm going to do here is go with a rally spring and damper. And then uh, continue working. Do the... What are we doing here? Install setup. We're just going to install the setup. Go back to the tuning and see if, in fact, the rally springs and dampers make this thing go lower. Now, like I say, seen it pop up on the channel a number of times. We're going to prove that because this car, this car desperately needs it, man. So we're going to go all the way low, all the way low. Um, stiffen up the suspension though because with the rally springs and dampers obviously things are definitely going to be a little bit uh, a little bit floppy and we don't want that so we're going to stiffen everything up dampening as well bump stiffness stiffen that up more stiff than soft you know what i mean um words to live by your boy don squally 2017 there just you know just for all the, the youngsters out there man okay so visually uh, what I'm looking at is a car that hasn't really changed very much, man. Um, so I'm not sure if that theory is still standing or if that's been patched since. Um, but I'm a little bummed out. Car has been locked. That's okay, man. We're going to go put our own design on here. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I might have got this from an auction or something like that. And then I realized that it was actually a free car. Because that's weird to have the paint locked up like that. Uh, but we're going to keep it moving. Now, as far as the paint goes, I really have no idea what color I want to stick with. It would actually be kind of cool to have an OEM color on here. Um, but I kind of like the white, actually, man. Let's see if we can get a nice pearl white going on here. Yeah, that's looking pretty sharp there. Uh, the hood, I wouldn't mind seeing blacked out, actually. 
We should do a carbon fiber on this mofo real quick, man. A nice carbon fiber hood on there. Uh, mirrors are looking okay. Spoiler. Uh, looks like no spoiler, but we can still paint whatever isn't there. Um, and those Koenigs, man. Like I said, we got to paint those. I'm not really feeling that neochrome lip. But let's check out what it would look like with a nice steel polish wheel on here. Now, this is a 92. Um, so to have like a polished wheel way back then was kind of the thing you know what i mean um but this ain't 1992 ladies and gentlemen and you know we're, we're gonna try to make this thing look kind of clean so black out the wheels man i mean you can't go wrong with a nice blacked out set of wheels and they're you know the koenig so you know they're legit let's check out just a few more options here yeah i think we're gonna have to rock those black wheels man um all the way and then we're going to do the window tint. I mean, this thing is just nice, subtle, wide body, nothing too crazy. Um, I kind of like it, man. It's nice. It's simple. We're going to save that to the current car real quick. And maybe apply a little decal. I don't even know if this is really going to matter, but I'm going to just find something that, you know, fills the space on the side of this car. And obviously, this right here is in Japanese, so I have absolutely no idea what it says. Maybe some of you guys who, I don't know, is that Japanese? I don't know. Fat, oh, it says Fat Lace. Yeah, okay, so we're rocking a nice little Fat Lace sticker on there. I'm just going to go ahead and spin this up a little more appropriately on the back. I'm like looking at this thing like, what is this hella Japanese writing, man? This, this, this is just crazy. Uh, no, not at all Japanese, actually English. Um, we're going to go ahead and paste that to the other side of the vehicle. Just move it slightly. Kind of make it look a little bit the same there. Um, make it look the same as I completely change the sides of it. Come on, Squally. Uh, yeah, some nice little fat lace going on there. I'm liking it, man. Nice little touch. We're going to save this to the current car. And with that said, I think we are ready to take this thing out on the road. Now, I'm interested to see what this 2J can do. But first, we're going to do a nice little 360 here. Very subtle looking paint job. Now, if you, you know, if it wasn't for that sticker, it just looked like a normal Toyota. Um, I mean, really nothing too crazy or sporty about this car. You can't even really tell that it's wide body. Most wide bodies in this game are like, you know, bolt on or, or uh, riveted on fenders. Whereas this one is just a nice stock molded Toyota uh, wide body. Not many of these, I'm sure, um, out there in the world today in real life. Um, but luckily for video games, we can recreate these legends. Um, you know, and, and completely hoon the hell out of them. Now, what I'm noticing here is first gear seems to be hitting the rev limiter as well as second gear. So, I'm going to probably start drifting here around these corners just in third and see if we can actually come out of these drifts. No, no. Yeah, see, I just, my instinct was to downshift. I should have left it in third there. As well as the traffic. The traffic messed me up as well. That Japanese fat lace, man. I can't get over that. It's some funny stuff. Okay, so we're going to see third gear, money gear. Not quite. That 2J screaming, though. Really, what I'm noticing the issue is here is that this thing just has an abundance of grit, man. Like, you get midway through your drift, and unless you're on that gas, the car just straightens right out, man. Probably due to those aggressive tires that I put on here, but if I said it before, I'll say it again. I like drift, ladies and gentlemen. Even on my drift builds, I do like the drift. And this thing. I think once you get the hang of it, man, it's not going to be the worst build ever. Whoa, what was going on there, man? You guys are freaking acting like some fools out there. Second gear on the gas, shift into third, mid mid slide. That drift tap though, it's a little more than a drift tap. That was like a drift collision, man. Say what? 
Um, but wow, this thing, incredibly, incredibly smooth. I gotta say, when I first got in this thing, it was a little, a little bit tough to slide, but now that I'm getting the hang of it, I mean, anything with a 2JZ, man. I mean, keep in mind that we did, oh, okay, my apologies there. Keep in mind, we did stick around with this twin turbo setup, so the power does come on a little bit quicker. But man, what a beauty. I wonder if anybody's ever supercharged a 2JZ, man. That would be some business for sure. Um, I mean, you'd have really a crazy power band that would have insane power the whole way through. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if a 2J with a supercharger would really be as iconic as it is with a turbo because, I mean, that turbo just sounds like a snake spitting venom, man. It's absolutely insane. Uh, which in turn makes this vehicle insane, man. We're out here drifting in fifth gear. That's some crazy stuff. I just noticed that. Uh, but what I think we're going to do before we end up crashing and making a fool of ourselves, which we just did, obviously, is uh, pull off, put an end to this video. You guys know how we do it, man. Steal somebody's driveway just for the fun of it, man. I just like the look of the cars parked in the driveway. I don't like as if it was real life, like, honey, I'm home, out here in the Supra, holler back. Um, but I'm thinking we are probably going to put an end to this one, man. Um, so as always, if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you are not subscribed yet. Uh, definitely subscribe because we've got tons of videos coming out every single day. It's what this channel is based off of, your requests, um, which, by the way, if you guys do have any requests, drop them down in the comments section. Um, and I think that's about it, man. So as always, I just want to say thank you, mofos, for watching, tuning in every single day. We're going to catch y'all at the next part. Time. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh! Fuck. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the race or anything.